All right, hello, welcome to 90.90 Quadratic for your Algebra 2 page 15 review video here. Today we're brought to you by Chinatown and Coffee Expresso, two fine Litchfield establishments. Um, this is page 15, where are you at? Page 15 in your game plan. Here are some of the answers. All right, look, number seven here. Um, when it says find all rational zeros, you know, some we're gonna we're going to involve I here, so we got rid of the rational part in, uh, in class. Anyway, we're going to find all the zeros for um, 7 through 12 here. Guys, you need to factor. What well, multiplies to 30 and adds to negative 11? That's what we got. Negative 6 and negative 6. So how do you get x to the fourth if you have x squared times x squared? Okay, that's why we have x squared minus 6, x squared minus 5. Cover up method gives you x squared minus 6 equals 0. Add 6 to both sides. When you take the square root of 6, it's always plus or minus. And... Uh, square root of 6 is a decimal, so we just write it as root 6. x squared minus 5 gives you 0. 5 would be x squared. Take the square root, plus or minus root 5, because root 5 is a decimal as well. Number 8, uh, here's where you do factoring by grouping. Notice you have four terms, so those group together well, the first two, the second two. What can I take away from 5x to the third and a negative 3x squared? I can take away x to the second. They both have at least x squared. So I take x squared uh, away from both. And I'm left within 5x minus 3. Always bring down the same sign, so plus. I can factor out a 5 from 25x and 15, leaving you with 5x minus 3. Notice the double underline, same two um, terms in the parentheses. Put those together in one. Then the x squared plus 5, the outsiders found love too. x squared plus 5 equals 0 is your first Equation, move 5 over, x squared equals negative 5. Take the square root of negative. First off, the square root of a negative is i. And then as from as we see uh, saw before, root 5 is just root 5. Then you set the other parenthesis, 5x minus 3 equal to 0. 5x equals 3, x is 3 fifths. Number 9 here, subtract the, or uh, factor out the x squared they both have in common. That first, first pairing there, you're left with 3x plus 2. Bring down the same sign, minus, minus, minus. That's what the second pairing begins with. Factor out of 10. When you divide both negative 30x and negative 20 by 10, you're left with 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 is in one parenthesis, one parenthesis. x squared minus 10 is in the other. Set x squared minus 10 equal to 0. Move the 10 over. Take the square root. Set 3x plus 2 equal to 0. And divide by 3 there. All right, here on 10, factor out the x squared, leaving you with 3x minus 4. Factor out the 16, leaving you with 3x minus 4. Got x squared plus 16 in one parenthesis, 3x minus 4 in the other. Set x squared plus 16 equal to 0. You get x squared to negative 16. When you take the square root of a negative, that's how you get i. The square root of 16 is 4, so that's why we have plus or minus i on that one. On the next one, 3x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides and divide by 3. Lastly, here, just like number 7, what multiplies is 63 because it's negative differs by 2. Um, that's how we get 9 and 7. Middle term is negative, so 9 is negative. x to the 4th minus 2x squared minus 63. Um, again, that factors to x squared minus 9, x squared plus 7. Move the 9 over. When you have x squared minus 9, is 0. When you take the square root of 9, you get plus or minus 3. x squared plus 7 is 0. x squared equals negative 7. When you take the square root of a negative, that's how you get plus or minus i root 7. Take the i out when you take the square root of a negative. And number 12, factoring by grouping again. The first two terms, they have an x squared in common, leaving you with 2x minus 3. Bring down that negative sign. When you factor out the negative 7, you're left with 2x minus 3 x squared minus 7 in one parenthesis, 2x minus 3 in the other. Set x squared minus 7 equal to 0. You get x squared is 7. Take the square root. x is plus or minus 7. Then here, 2x minus 3 equals 0. 2x equals 3. x is 3 over 2. And this is your review video. 90.90 quadratic, signing out.